It's Kimberly Simpson, Norwex Independent Consultant. So, the challenge I made to myself was that I was going to use the netted dishcloth to clean up this peanut butter jar. I like to recycle, but I generally don't clean these out and they end up hucking in the garbage because there's no easy way and you can spend a good 10 minutes cleaning this out. So, yeah, it smells good. I've been making cookies and they're in the oven. I'm making peppermint cookies actually. You can see all the fun shapes. Here, have a look. And then in the oven. Oh, they're looking good. And they smell pepperminty. Okay, totally distracted. Um, I think maybe I have to do this <coughs> so you guys can see what's happening. Okay, I'm gonna use the netted dishcloth to clean this out. And we'll see what happens. Could be a fail, could be just a good experiment. All right, I'm getting it wet. And I'm just gonna go in and, ouch, try not to burn myself. We always have the hot water to it. Well, it's coming, wow. What did I expect of course? <laughs> oh, it's still really hot. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Ah. Well, I guess this means I have no excuse for recycling peanut butter jars anymore. Or for not recycling them. Huh. Hot cold, hot cold. Silly cute. Okay. So the jar is clean. Ta -da! Clean enough to recycle. Woohoo! Okay, and now is this clean? <laughs> Smells a bit like peanut butter, so I probably would then use a bit of soap. Oh, but now I have the dish soap. The Norwex dish soap, which we only need a drop or two just to get any of the leftover oils out of there. And probably because this is a heavy baking day anyways, I'm just gonna put this cloth in the wash when I'm done, so it won't matter if it sits there. Although I could use an experiment. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh my goodness. So the netted dishcloth really cleaned out the peanut butter jar. I'm thoroughly amazed. And then, if you guys have watched the other one before, where I cleaned off the counter, once I'm done doing cookie dough, I'm gonna clean it off. Actually, I can show you. See how someone is watching, hi! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you in here. Well, it's a f I did a funny way of making the cookie dough this time because it's more of a dough cookie dough. So I will just clean this out really easily with the netted dishcloth. Whoops, can you see again? <laughs> okay. Because generally we wouldn't use our washcloth to do this, right? Because it's messy and it gets all gross inside. And I'm just going to do this. the dough get stuck in there? Easy peasy. And I don't have to worry about washing my dish brush in the dishwasher later to get all the goo out of the brush. This is the brush I usually use and all the bristles get full of goo. And backing myself here. I missed this button. There you go. Okay. This is clean. Can you see inside? There we go. And see how there's dough stuck here? Now I can just pinch it out. Crumble it around in my hands a bit. And there's water in there. Let me wring it out before I fling water all over the kitchen. 
<laughs> okay, there you go. Look at that. No dough, no peanut butter. Oh, there's some flax seeds in here. The flax seeds, I have to say, that's the only thing that I actually have to look at and pull out. The peanut butter wasn't really peanut butter. It's a almond butter mixed with flax seeds and it's actually really good. Nut and seed butter. Super sticky. Anyways, now there's no flax seeds left. There we go. All good. Good to go. Already challenged. Woohoo! Okay, so my challenge to you then is because the holidays are coming up. I want to see if you can give me some sort of thing that you hate to clean. Something you hate to clean around the holidays. You know, something that's a pain to clean. And I'll see if I can recreate it here at my house. And then show you how it goes. So definitely dishcloth and peanut butter. Dishcloth wins for sure. But yes, send me a challenge and then I'll see what I can do. Also, because my mom is coming next week, I'm gonna see if I can go live with her like we did last time for this lovely bottle brush, which I have been using consistently now. I didn't know the wonders of a bottle brush, especially one that's easy to clean and cleans out jars so well. Oh, I could have done that with peanut butter. Anyways, I'm rambling. It's been one of those days and I had to have a second coffee. <laughs> so, Alrighty, I better go check my cookies. See you all later. Thanks for watching. I can't finish this. My hands are wet. I can't hit stop. Okay. <laughs>